Oh hey guys, this is Gothic Slenderman again, and hey, I have I I'm not making videos as much as I oh. used to. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> We poop outside in the neighbor's yard. No! <laughs> in case you didn't know, I just got out of the shower. And now, uh, my head's a little hot. And, uh, I got my regular hat on instead of stupid hat. You know, you know, this abomination. The thing that made it look like I got a big bubble in my head. And it looked like a who from Whoville. Which would be fitting since it is the Christmas season. But I'd rather be the goddamn Grinch. Just saying. So today we're doing a new Things I Hate. Haven't done this in a while, in case you all didn't know, since I gained a lot of subscribers since the last one. Uh, it's basically a segment where I just talk about Things I Hate. Are you willing to join me? Are you willing to join me? Let's begin, gravel, 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 gravel. One thing I hate are pretentious little bitches. I think they're bigger than everyone else, simply because, I don't know, uh... Something, something stupid like they have this job or this is the place that, that they come from like <clears throat> or that oh you could drive fast in a car oh god for you it's not like no one else can fucking do that it's more about choice it's not impressive that you can it's not impressive that you did how does that make you bigger than everyone else guy in the fucking car you heard that right you heard that guys wait near <clears throat> that brings me to another topic people who like to Turn up the bass to the point where everyone can hear it outside of the car. Look, at this point, I believe you're doing it just for attention if you're turning the bass up so that everyone can, can hear it on the outside of your car. Why do I say that? Because if it's up to that point, how can you hear the song? I, had to, I, I know a lot of people that turn up bass to an extreme amount, and when they, do, when they get up, up to that point, I'm inside the car, I can barely hear the song. You just say, The town of Bass does not make you look cool. I don't know what trend fucking started that, but it does not make you look cool. In fact, it makes you look like an idiot and or a douchebag. Turn up the bass on this video. Another thing I hate are society standards for appearances. People are being pressured into like certain looks like, oh, guys have to wear pants going down to their fucking knees and buzz cuts and whatnot. But that's not the biggest problem. I think the bigger problem is what women have, what women have to deal with. Oh, to be beautiful, you have to have a thigh gap. Oh, even though it's more based on your bone structure and not based on your weight. You gotta have a fake ass tan that makes you look orange like you're from Jersey. And the bleach blonde hair that doesn't even look human. Maybe like the bleach blonde all over top of brown hair, which just looks gross in my opinion. But hey, if you like it, that's your thing. Don't do it if if, if your reason of doing it is just so you look uh, popular or whatnot. Don't do it. If it's because that's what you want to do, that's that's your thing because it's your decision. But I don't understand what reasons. <laughs> I my favorite kind of girls out there are the ones that dress all in black. They don't that kind of think a similar way I do. In other words, completely insane. Long, beautiful, black hair, black clothing, emo scene, goth, doesn't matter. These are not really standards, just more my personal preference. I mean, I, I've dated girls that have not uh, dressed all in black or have the same personality as me. At the same time, I've noticed some kind of contrast when I do that. I've dated a few girls before. Um, half of them were in my stand... Or, in my personal preference, which was fine, and the other half was not, which was fine too. I don't like to judge girls on if they don't have something I prefer, because odds are you're not going to have the per goddamn pixel perfect build a barrel workshop girl you always wanted, so yeah, there are obviously going to be some things that uh, they are not going to go your way, but hey, it's, it's fucking, it's how life goes, man. And usually, uh, I try my best to, if a girl has a crush on me, I try to go out with them the best I can, uh, because uh, I want to give them a chance, okay? Um, not many people are giving me a chance, but I, w I don't want to be the douche that's all like, Oh, you like me. Fuck, I just exploded a little bit. Blech. I don't want to be the douche that's all like, Oh, you like me? Go fuck yourself. 
and just leave them in the dust. I, I, unless I'm in a relationship, I'd give them a chance. I mean, like, you can't judge a book by its cover. That brings me to another topic. I hate people that always are all like, oh, you're chubby. You're fat. I don't like you because of that. Don't judge people on body types, especially if you're looking for a relationship. Do you know why? Because some people can't control that. Some people have eating disorders that make it very difficult to either lose or, in some cases, gain weight. So, yeah, it's not always their decision. And it's very difficult to lose weight. You can't just be like, I'm going to lose 20 pounds. Done. And sometimes that takes time. Sometimes people may need help on these certain topics. Sometimes they, I don't know. But if you're will, but honestly, the most be the best people out there are the people that are willing to ignore body types. Who cares if a, if a girl or a guy is a bit thicker than others? Who cares if they're a lot scrawnier? I mean, that doesn't affect their personality, does it? I've talked about this a few times on my YouTube channel, but I feel like I gotta talk about it again. If you're overweight, don't judge yourself on that, because I personally believe that you're still a beautiful person. You're goddamn beautiful. And if you're overweight and people tell you you're ugly, fucking ignore them. They're just jealous, because they are goddamn beautiful. Oh, yes, you're gorgeous. Oh, you're fucking beautiful. I love you all. This video has gotten nowhere. Well, maybe it has to some people. Anyhow, I hope you all enjoyed this, because I think I went on long enough. <laughs> I'm not even sure how many topics I went over, like three? In like the span of ten minutes, probably? And it's going to take a long time editing the video, so it probably was. If you enjoyed the video, like, maybe favorite, subscribe when you see some more. I try to make videos almost every day. Oh, and if you notice this annotation that says Gothic Static, it takes you to my second channel if you're interested in subscribing. There I do skits, uh, short films, um, and other things as well. So, without further ado, we all see Fish in the Ceiling at least once in our lives. Don't be happy. Don't worry. Don't be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. Hey, you there. Don't you cry. Just put a smile on your beautiful face. Shed one more tear. And I'll fucking rip off your skull and feed it to the vapors. Eat it to the hell. Roar!